TaganoutHunting.com has given away 15,000 DVDs. You heard it right. We're giving almost $100,000 worth of DVDs away. Go to TaganoutHunting.com now. This week, we're heading out with our good buddy, Todd Collick, and this is one turkey hunt you don't want to miss. Now, this right here is a guy that really likes his turkey hunting. Pull out the basic brick house today. It'll be, it'll be better. It's a little bit chillier out here this morning. That's the opening day of the uh, the late hunt. Uh, so me and Mr. Eaton here are gonna go out and got some birds roosted up on the back up here, and uh, pretty confident we'll see a lot of bird activity today. Perfect morning out, no wind at all right now, clear skies. So we're gonna have to beat feet and get out there. It's uh, birds are gonna start talking pretty soon here. The morning broke loose with an explosion of crows and the animals were starting to move. He's right in the corner right there. He's on yeah. a fan down right now. Yeah. He just, he's still looking, he don't know where. Things are looking really good right now, then all of a sudden, this Tom freaks out. Well, the Yoder slips by, and he decided he wanted a second chance at love.
Tagging Out Honey would like to thank the following sponsors. Stink Stick. Outdoor Dreams Hunting Products. Buck Fever Synthetic Scents. Away Hunting Products. And Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Thank you. Man, that bird was smoked, and how it left them decoys was beyond us. <laughs> I don't think so either. I no should have just shot his damn man off. Yeah. It looked like you'd be holding. Actually weren't good because I couldn't see him. I was watching the camera. When he come up, I got behind this thing and then I seen the hand. I'm like, okay. <laughs> He's just standing there. Put my lay down there. He down so. Smells like turkey. Well, it's got meat on it. Unreal, something like that can pass through there and he's still going. So in a situation like that, we give the bird some time, we picked up the blood trail, and we recovered the bird. Well, what looked like was going to turn out to be uh, an early morning for us, turned out to be a little bit of an adventure. Uh, got kind of a mix of everything. This morning we got out there, the birds actually got fired up about 5.30. The coyotes started howling back over here, got everybody awake. And then uh, this guy come out and he was working textbook, coming right in like we should. And now about 80 yards or so, he all of a sudden he started clucking out there, turned around and took off running. A darn coyote come out and messed the day up so I thought and uh, couldn't believe it I've never had, I've had coyotes come out before and usually when that happens that's uh, that's the game ender there and bird turned around and come back out in the field and we were able to work him brought him right in and uh, thought I uh, thought I made a really good shot on him actually if I if I had the scenario the same way I'd, I'd put the arrow the same place I've shot birds there before and um, never had a problem he ended up going a couple hundred yards and uh, got a great blood trail out of him and Ron and I decided to back up and let him sit there for a little while, so we went and uh, tried working another bird for Ron there and had some action come back and fortunately was able to walk right up. He hopped on one of the deer trails there and uh, absolutely gorgeous bird. Gorgeous bird, nice beard on him. Fantastic morning. I appreciate Ron coming out and filming that. That was a good time. Beautiful. Yeah, this is my, uh, my 18th bird with a bow now. Uh, I kind of like establishing goals and just 
going at it and seeing what happens you know it's it's not about getting a bird every year or anything like that it's nice to be successful always enjoy the meat and that but I really like to establish goals for myself and uh, it's been quite a while since I've shot a bird with a shotgun and taken a few with a recurve done that and uh, I think now I'm gonna set a new goal is I'd really like to get a hold of a, a flint lock and try and get a bird like that I think it'll limit the range a little bit and uh, you know, if you don't go out and you get a bird the first day, it's just extending your season out there. So, absolutely beautiful. The colors on these, and it just really makes it special getting out there and enjoying that and enjoying it with friends, and that's what it's all about. Hey, Todd couldn't have said that any better, and congratulations on an awesome bird. If you haven't been to the website, make sure you go there and order your copy of Filling Tags and Reaching Limits right now. Hey, everyone, so long. Tagging Out Hunting is proud to announce our 15,000 DVD giveaway. You heard it right. We're giving almost $100,000 worth of DVDs away. All you have to do is go to TaggingOutHunting.com. Go to the Meat Market button. Click Add to Cart. Click Checkout. Fill out all the information you need. Put free DVD in the coupon or discount code selection. Hit Apply and then just check out. It's that simple. Log on today to own your own copy. Tell your friends, tell your family, post it on the web, and email everyone you know about this offer because it will not last long. Thank you to our fans, our sponsors, our customers, our family, and our friends for making Tagging Out Hunting a huge success. This DVD has it all. It covers five states, including Louisiana, Texas, Maine, Nebraska, and Michigan. It covers waterfowl, mule deer, hogs, whitetail deer, bow fishing, moose, turkey, and more. It highlights the youth in the outdoors as well as women. The people in this DVD do not look at themselves as above or beyond anyone. Just normal, everyday, hardworking people that share their love for the outdoors with the families that they love. Watch Kylie Eaton as she makes a wild boar harvest at the age of four years old. Lots of unseen, incredible footage. Log on now, taggingouthunting.com, and own your own copy today. Thanks again from all.